I'll say heave, you say ho oh. heave! Ho! Oh. Me! Oh. <laughs> that seemed awfully light too. I hope we caught some. So I'm gonna say one final heave, you say ho. Oh. Oh. That's done. Break it open. I'm not gonna like we could shake the mud crab out, but we can also, you know, just rinse this off uh, and then build our own oyster reef in here. This uh, is a good example of how oysters grow. If you look, oysters grow about an inch a year, uh, depending on the water quality. So warmer, healthy water, they'll grow faster. But you can see this oyster is four years old, at least four or five years old, and that's important because as they age they change sex what? all oysters are born males and they spend the first three years or so as a male once they get to their third season or three inches or they can start producing eggs uh you can see them all stacked up in there i believe that's what they are what was the little yeah, icky thing is it a mud that was a little oh, oh. oh i don't like it. something's growing on this uh there are the eggs i think uh, and there's, yeah, there's the, the, oh, there it is. Kind of, it's neat. These like sort of soft spots on here, those are anemones. As we leave them in the water, they'll open up. What is it? Baby, baby crab. Oh, wow. Oh, man, that is tiny. It's really tiny. Good question. The Some of these creatures are not oysters. These are called hooked mussels. These are not the mussels that you eat. Uh, but they can actually move. They can actually move a little bit. Yep, so that's probably a poly. He's not cute. I don't like him. Yeah, that's a, a polychaete worm. Uh, really important part of the food chain. And then oysters eat that algae. So they're eating the algae, and that is really yummy. Uh, and they're eating the algae, but there's some other stuff in the water too, right? What else is clouding up the water? The dirt. So they don't eat the dirt, but what they do with the dirt is they act, they'll pass it along and pack it up with some, some snot, some whatever, oyster snot, and they pack it up, pack it high, pack it low, uh, and they, then they'll drop that to the bottom so they take it out of the water column. So they're eating the algae, but also the fact that they're dropping this stuff to the bottom, there's a nitrogen cycle happening around an oyster reef that is actually getting the nitrogen out of the water and releasing it into the air. So the reef ecosystem is important for taking the nitrogen out as much as the oysters themselves eating the algae. Uh, so there's two things happening down there, but the big removal of nitrogen is happening from the nitrogen cycle around an oyster reef.